Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to describe or walk through how to calculate the present value of a specific future value. Let's just keep in mind, I suppose, from a compound interest perspective. So let's say from a compound uh, interest perspective, right? compound interest perspective, okay? and in particular in the annual case okay, uh, that to calculate the future value that the future value is simply equal to the present value times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of t okay so from this formula we can always calculate the future value once we know the principal value the interest rate and how many years our principal value is being compounded by Okay, so with a little algebraic manipulation, so with a little algebra, okay, uh, we can we can make I suppose we can make PV the subject of this formula, the subject of the formula, okay, simply by dividing across by one plus i raised to the power of t, okay. So by doing that, we end up with that the principal value. Okay. how much you have today is simply equal to the future value divided by 1 plus i raised to the power of t. Okay, so really what this is saying to us is this, is that this is the reverse of our compound interest perspective from an annual case. Typically what we ask is that you know how much you have today and you want to know how much it's going to be worth in the future. Okay. This is the reverse, where we know how much we're going to have in the future, and we're being asked, how much is it worth today? Okay? So this particular term here, where we're dividing by 1 plus i to the t, this is a discounting factor that's going to bring the future value back into today's terms. So for example, so let's say we have an example. Okay? Let's say, how much is... 2,000 euros worth in today's terms in today's terms okay, if you were let's say to receive it to receive it in two years time okay, if interest rates interest rates are fixed at let's say 2.3 percent okay so what we know now is this is that we know how much we're going to be getting in the future we're going to be getting 2,000 euros in the future okay actually we're going to be getting it in two years time and we also know that interest rates are fixed at 2.3 percent over this particular period of time Okay, so I'm wondering how much is this 2,000 two thousand euros worth in today's terms? So really I'm asking is what is the present value? The present value of this 2,000 euros that we're going to receive in two years time. Okay, so from a formula perspective, okay, all we need to do to calculate the present value is to know what the future value is, to know what the interest rates is, and to know how far in the future it is that we'll be receiving this future value. So in our situation here, we know that the future value is 2,000 euros. Okay. We know that the time frame, T, is two years. And we know that the interest rate is 2.3%, or as a decimal, that's 0 0.023. So now we know that the present value of that amount is equal to the future value, 2,000 euros, divided by 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0 0.023, raised to the power of how many years we need to discount by, which in this case is 2. Okay? Now doing this on the calculator, okay, uh, we would have, okay, so it's 2,000 euros, okay, divided by, well, 1 plus 0 0.023 is 1.023, and that needs to be squared. So I'm going to say 1.023 raised to the power of 2. So really what we have is that this is 
this is 2,000 euros divided by 1.023 raised to the power of 2, which gives us a value of 1,911 euros. Okay, so what we know is that uh, 2,000 euros in two years' time, if interest rates were running at 2.3%, is equivalent to 1,911 euros. Okay, guys. So it doesn't matter now what the future value is, or how many years in the future we need to, how many years we need to discount by. It's always the same. You need to know how much you have in the future, how many years you need to discount by. In other words, how many years in the future will it be before you receive that future value, and what the prevailing interest rate is uh, to be able to calculate the present value. Okay, guys. Uh, Sorry for my phone going off there, uh, and it's one thing as a, as a lecturer we always usually say to students is uh, make sure that you put your phone on silent, okay? But I suppose we're all human, and it just that just shows there. Okay, so I hope this particular video uh, was a little helpful uh, in relation to the calculation of the present value of a future amount. I suppose what's important now is this, is that we know how to calculate the present value of a future amount. So in a later video, what we can actually look at is we can actually have a look at a share schedule of future values and bring in the whole schedule back in today's terms to calculate what's known as a net present value. Okay guys, uh, once again thank you for your time. Uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Thank you.